the board, I'm going to spoke to the chief outside. We have some questions based on what's been presented, so I think we need a couple, a couple things to clarify. Mr. Ackerson, can I interrupt you for a moment? I was wondering if maybe we could push this table back and you could join us and sit. Oh, I'm so okay. No, I'm, I'm much better on my feet. I've been riding for two and a half hours, so thank you. <coughs> thank you. But I'm, um, I really wasn't thinking of you, I have to confess. I was thinking that it might be a little easier for us to work together if we okay. were all... No, that's why I'm standing right next to Mr. Pollock. Okay. So I can see if you can. Can you use the microphone now? Yeah, can you use the microphone? I will, I will speak clearly. No, I'm talking about this is left me now. Oh, does the slack can use the microphone? Oh, yeah, I can't hear him. I know I see it. So what do you got? Clarification, first paragraph. Reads at all times when, well, let me take a step back if I can. Um, we were here two weeks ago in a um, very crowded, very hot selectman's room and opened up the sliding door and, and expanded into that room. And when we left that meeting, we had an understanding of a couple of things were going to happen um, that the chief did. One was uh, present a list of some you know, items or agenda which she thought were important to do, boom, boom, right at the beginning of her return to the job. Mm -hmm. um, I believe. Um, through council, me to Mr. Paula, that is, we sent a, I think, a nine to ten points, uh, eight. Um, eight, eight point agenda, thank you, um, to, uh, for the town, for the board's consideration of things that need to be done in, in the short term. Um, and also, the second thing was a, a, a memo, if you will, regarding some mediation thoughts on what the chief thought would be the best way to, to try and pull things together. Those two things were done. Um, so that was done. The, the other thing that we were expecting was a meeting with the police officers in terms of a mediation session. Um, not, not so much for me. I'm not taking me out of the equation, please. But the chief uh, attorney Paul in, in the offices to meet, to get together. Um, that never happened in the past two weeks. Chief was available. So, um, so I think the chief, since that meeting last week, two weeks ago, rather, um, the chief did her, did her steps or things which the board wanted. Um, in good faith to move things forward. Um, <coughs> a couple of points I, I wanted to bring up Before uh, you go on, based on. Let us respond to that. I believe Jeremiah met with the police officers. Do you want to talk about that a little bit, Jeremiah, or do you want me to? I can talk about it. Okay. Um, I, I, I did meet with the police officers. I have met with you and the chief. And like I said at the last meeting, um, mediation, it, it wasn't necessarily mediation in the traditional sense where I'm an outside third party. But like I said, it has to be voluntary. And more importantly, uh, it has to be something that uh, you know, is going somewhere. And it wasn't, you know? It really wasn't. Simple as that. I mean, I, I've, met with, I've met with the chief. And I think I'm familiar with what what it is, where, where, what the position is, if that's your condition, I met with them, met with them for a very long time. I've also, just to put it all out there, I've also spoken with Rebecca, and, um, you know, I, 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 I'm trying to gather as much information as I can, but other than us coming to some kind of understanding here tonight, uh, that's, that's, that's all I have to report. And just to be clear, the meeting that we had with the chief was in April. Yeah. Right. Okay. April. Not, not <coughs> in the July 8th meeting. Okay. Thank you. That's true. Um, That's true. It was in April. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Um, as to the document that you have here, the chief and I just looked at it outside, um, not having seen it before. But the first paragraph, just to be clear, um, at all times when the chief of police is on town property, acting chief Shaw, Personnel Director Bill Tai. He's not here. He's not here. Okay. I believe he plans to be here by eight. And other town personnel, someone wrote in, Will Brinker, will es escort with the chief. That, my, did I get that correct? Yes. Chief. Number two on the list. Scheduling of all work to be determined by acting police chief and personnel director. Does that mean scheduling of um, officer shifts? Yep. 
Mr. So they, the acting chief and personnel. Officer Schiff, uh, details, that kind of stuff. Okay. And, and the acting chief and personnel director would mm -hmm. uh, yep. be in charge of the personnel? Yep. Okay. Um, uh, four, develop under the supervision of the acting chief goals and a long range plan for the Egremont PD and submit to the board of selectmen for review. Mm -hmm. Did I read that correct? Under the yep. supervision of the acting chief? Yep. So, Lena Bucknell as chief of police will be reporting to the acting chief? Lena Bucknell is no longer. She has been suspended and. When was she uh, suspended, sir? She was put on administrative leave. Oh, excuse me. I, I, I couldn't hear someone talking. She was put on administrative leave, so she was on leave, and we're looking to terms to bring her back. I believe the board feels that the 97A part of this job is no longer pertinent to this person. Okay, go ahead. I'm just trying to be clear. Yeah. On February 19th of 2013, when a group of police officers came into the board meeting, that's when the chief was suspended? Correct. From, suspended from doing her duties. Correct. But maintaining the position of chief of police and the yep. pay. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, a couple of, couple of these are not objectionable but in any way. Um, um, one thing I didn't understand, it says work, number 10 on your list here, work with current personnel in acting police chief to update and resolve, if possible, any outstanding cases. Does that mean like investigations or, I know what you mean by cases. Number 10 I'm referencing. <laughs> investigations, that kind of stuff, yes. Po po police matters? Yes. Okay. I didn't know if it meant lawsuits or, or claims against the town. All right. As far as I know, you don't have it. Yeah. All the room, Meet with them. Um, down, uh, it's not enumerated, but it's after paragraph 12. It says, no longer serve as active chief of the department? Is that a condition going forward? That's right. Okay. Um, and it also says no contact with officers. Does that mean Egremont police officers? That's correct. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold on, please. No contact with. You guys, you guys, the only people in here I think it's funny is the crowd. I mean, I don't think. I, don't, I mean, I think there's a good reason for that. I, think I understand. understand. Oh. I understand, but I mean, I mean, why don't why don't you sit down and let's talk? You can say what's what's what's. This isn't like a. Uh, I mean, you can do what you want, but I mean, I we should hear this. Constructive. I, I'm trying to get clarification on a few of these points. Okay. I didn't go there. There are twelve of them. I've only gone over one, two, three, four. Now. The last, an un unenumerated paragraph, it says, no contact with management of the people or the department. That means employees of the police department. I think we well, have we've, already, we've changed yeah. that already to some extent. You have to work with the current personnel. You've got it. You've got it. She's no contact with the people. Of the police officers. With the current. Well, we've done with contradiction. Because we're asking you to work out some stuff. Mr. Chairman, point of order, we can't hear you. Yes, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. This is between the personnel and the board. It's an open hearing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It is. That's the town we hear. This is a person that requires that you be audible. The board requires an official letter announcing the chief's retirement. Oh, that's fine. Is that as of now? I mean, uh, you're requesting the letter this, right now? No. no. Tonight, no. Okay. Well, that, what's, at what point is that? Well, she announced it last week. Or the last meeting we had. So put your retirement papers, chief? She announced it at our last meeting on December 31st. She was done. Down at the bottom it says, waiver of no 
Uh, sorry, it's not enumerated as well. Waiver, no lawsuits, period. Uh, what does that mean? Thank you. Just to speak to that, Jeremiah? Yeah, we're, we're, we've been in, in exchanging correspondences, and yeah, it would be a settlement as well. The waiver, release of the MCAT, the things you've discussed in your letters to me. That would be a, a, a chief signing a, a release of waiver, if you will, uh, releasing the town, its employees, the yeah, board. Yeah, you, know, you know what it means. Is it? Okay. Well, it just says waiver, no losses. I understand it's not the best word, but you, I think we understand what it means, don't we? Probably clear. 97A. Matt, I, I think I mentioned the chief's appointing, the chief, any chief in Eglamont is appointing at a mass general law chapter, 4197A which means, again, the chief is in charge of the personnel and the property and can submit policies to the board for, for approval. Those are the three big powers that they have, along with the general supervision of the police department. Um, can I be clear? Is that, does this document look for a waiver of those rights of, that the chief has? <coughs> and no retaliation. Oh, yeah. Can I ask what that means? Exactly that. She doesn't retaliate against the officers for um, what happened. How about you? Chairman, Mr. Chairman, may I ask a question? Uh, based on what was said, would would the personnel director outrank the chief? Specific 
basically any kind of pieces on town property, a ball field, a CD, town hall, this building used to be one by one with uh, Mr. Shaw, no. Chief Shaw. I think he's Chief Shaw. Acting Chief Shaw. Okay, Mr. Shaw, um, personal director Ty or uh, uh, Will Brinker. That's correct. Is it two of them? I think it's one of either three of them. Pick one. <coughs> I do, Councilor Serena. That takes away all of your chief powers. No chief powers. Get to your job. Scheduling by acting chief and personnel and director. That clearly takes away your statutory chief powers of 97 AD, which engages and demand, dictate, control, requires you to be in command of the personnel. So that also takes away your chief powers. You work under Chief Shaw, acting Chief Shaw. Again, the statute's clear. A chief of police, a chief of police, a chief of police. Four, you chief, no longer active chief in the department, despite being said a minute ago that you were not active in February 19th. So let's just see, trying to be clear in here now that you're not active as chief of police. I don't know if you're patrolman, sergeant, corporal, lieutenant, captain, deputy chief, but you're not chief. No contact with PPD officers. Again, statutorily, you're in charge of the personnel. This is a risk. You take this job, you keep this job, you're, you're going to get sued by some misconduct by some of the officers here. Not cheap. No lawsuits. Well, that's about six. That's about money. The town is insured. I promise you, it's probably a $10,000 deductible. Way of rights under 97A. The personnel. We have the person personnel. Property. General supervision of the PD. You wave your right there. Chief. You're gonna get sued. Personnel? Property, general supervision. You're going to be out. You're going to be getting sued. Chief will do this agreement, members of the board. That eraser, I erase everything on that board, and you cross out everything on your your list here. That's on that board, one to seven. Chief will do the agreement, but you, it, it's not going to do that. That's not coming from your council. Hold on, coming from the chief. Ready to go? Now, or what you going to do is... What you going to do, what they going to do? They had a meeting Thursday morning, Chief. You weren't invited to it. No. What had a meeting Thursday morning. Posted it at one time and actually meeting at another time. Head fake. Well, that's a one sided so, view of it. I <laughs> but accurate. And I will admit that I made an error on the time of the post. It's all on the knife. I think that meeting was for this board to come up with what we were to present to Rena. And I'm sorry that you didn't get that on Friday because I clearly thought you were supposed to get it before this meeting so that we didn't have these misunderstandings. I tried to be clear with you, was it just last Monday night, I don't know, so much water has flowed over the dam, that I really thought 
there was so much of a rift between you and our police officers that we couldn't bring you back to be in direct supervision of that. I was very hopeful that we could work out some agreement so that we could mutually benefit from some form of a role with you until you said you would retire. Obviously, that's not going to work. And I'm very sorry that we couldn't gather around this table like I had hoped we could and discuss this with a little more thought. I, I, really am. I apologize to everybody, no matter what side you're on, that this is not going to work out beneficially for either the town or Chief Chief, did Ms. Breezy tell you this? About that meeting with the board members? I didn't, conversation? No, I didn't say I told her about it. I thought that was our working meeting to get something to our attorney, at which we wouldn't have her present. We had her notes, which we, is where we started with this from. And if you look at her notes, none of it says, I'm going to come back and direct the Agrimon police officers. The law isn't clear enough? I don't know. Can we ask them something else you'd like to add? Add or ask? You bet. They're employees of the town. They don't dictate. Yes. Under 97A. So, just so I'm clear before I leave, I would be here, sort of, Mr. Flynn. I would be here, sort of, with, a, with an escort. Sort of. Lorena Hanlon. I would be here. I, I just, I need to be clear. It's been a little foggy, or as Mary said, a lot of water, or whatever. So I would be here, and 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 I wasn't here Thursday for your meeting. I, I guess what I don't understand, I would have an escort. So when I'm here on the property, someone would be with me at all times. On town property, it says town property. So at French Park or anywhere, the firehouse, either world breaker. Who are the other people watching me? Mr. Ty and Mr. Shaw. Mr. Ty and Mr. Shaw. And I would wave state statute. I would have to wave state statute. You're, you're asking me actually to. I'm not saying you're ask, asking me to violate the law, but uh, ignore it. Again, I'm not trying to be smart. I just I need to know for my sake. It's been, and, and I haven't had the opportunity. I agree with Attorney Pollard. We met in April. We didn't meet after July 8th. That was probably because of scheduling, etc. But this is I, This is impossible to do unless you tell me explicitly I'm to ignore the state law, which I don't believe I can do that legally. Well, you're the attorney. Yeah, well, as the attorney, Jen, you're not directing the way that, that they're scheduled and what they're doing. I disagree with the assertion that they're going to be personally liable because you don't have any control. So the town wants... Like there's no control. I mean, that's, that's really what you're, you, it, it, uh, what you're saying is unacceptable about it, there's no control. And we're, we're, what, what, you know, there is most certainly a risk, a risk, a terrible risk. And, you know, I, I, I look at these, I go at these the same way every time, which is there's got to be common ground. You got to be able to reach across the table at some point. And the, pre the presentation that we're doing here doesn't lend itself to that. I mean, you can ask that, you can, you can counter your own conditions, um, but that's not what we're doing. It's not the board that's doing. I asked specifically, I said, well, it took the time to write them up there because we go over point by point. I had decided, might have, 
I want to support. Could I ask a question? Could I ask you a question? 